Now that is bright. You see, it's completely dark now. And that lights the whole side of the shop. And it is good 70 feet plus width wise. And probably 40 feet or more out. You see that is a nice big area right there and then that's lit. Welcome to the shack, I'm Rick. If this is your first time viewing, I want to say thank you so much for taking some of your valuable time to check out my channel. Do a little bit of writing, do home improvements, home repairs, tool reviews, and projects. So today's video, we're going to be doing a shop improvement. You may notice this light fixture. This is what normally you would put on a building, on a pole maybe, if you have property to light up an area. Or in my case, I was going to put this on my shop, on the wall back there, outside. I have a light out there, but it's a small light and it's just connected to the switch. I wanted something to kind of lighten up the area out there in case I was working late or something, or just because you know we're out in the middle of the place, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of light, keep an eye on things, security purposes. But literally, Without a scale, I'm saying this thing's close to six to eight pounds. It is very, very heavy. That means I'd have to make sure I have the proper support to mount this on the wall out there. You don't want to just put some screws in. The weight of this will literally pull the screws right out. So you have to have proper anchors to mount this to the wall. Or you have to have the proper setup to mount it on a pole if you're going to set it up out in the middle of some place. Very heavy and for the bulb, they are efficient, but they're not efficient as an LED, and that's what I'm going to do. This is literally a couple pounds, a third of the weight of this, much easier to mount, LED. This is 3,300 lumens, and it says versus something like this, I will save over 200 a year in electricity. We're going to get rid of the old fixture out there and put this in. The fixture I have now is only turned on and off by a switch. I'm going to leave this connected to the switch. So when I'm here, I can leave it off. But when I go or I'm, I want to be out later or something, I can turn the switch on. This will come on at dusk and turn off at dawn. Makes it very convenient. So I'm going to get everything set up, get out there, get my ladder, get everything going. Then we're going to remove the old one and install the new one. Very easy process, but a couple of safety issues. You don't want to get a bad hair day and you don't want to spend a couple of days in the hospital if you zap your ass and fall off the ladder and get hurt. Priority one, make sure you have the proper breaker shut off. There's a couple of things you can do about that. Circuit breaker finder, or in my case, I will shut the breaker off and I will always double check with a multimeter. To make sure there is no current, I do not want to be injured and zap myself off of that ladder and fall down because I'm going to be up probably 15 feet. The pitch of my roof inside here is 11 feet. I got to go more, a little bit higher on the outside, so I want to be at least 15 feet off the ground. So if I get zapped and lose my footing and fall backwards, I could break a leg on the ladder, fall down, get seriously injured. Don't want that to happen. Safety is a priority. Do not touch any wiring until you have verified there is no current. The halo LED area and wall light. The LED supposedly, we don't know for sure, only time can tell, supposedly has a 13 year maintenance free operation, meaning you should have 13 years on an average of 10 hours a night of light. The brilliant white is 5000K, meaning it is not a yellowish, Hue, not a reddish hue, orange, whatever. It is a white, white glow. And this also has the option of being mounted on a pole. If this thing is sitting at 15 feet high, which it is between 14 and 15 feet on the side of my shop, from the center width wise, I should have a complete width of 74 feet wide. From my shop door out, it should light up at least 29 to 37 feet. Before we go out there, I'm going to go through this real quick just to see what we have. Make sure I have everything. Let's open this up, get everything out of it, and go through it all real quick. 
and there's the other mounting hardware, three screws. And that is light, that's really, really light. Compared to the other one, that's like 10 pounds. No, I think six to eight pounds, it's heavy. This is a couple pounds. Definitely metal, got your plastic. And then the, the LED. And for a diagram, if you look on the lid, there's actual diagram for the mounting. So you can probably cut this off, set it somewhere, and mark your three holes. That's nice. That is it. That's everything in there. I mean, very, very simple. There's not much to it at all. That all can go. So we have three wire nuts for your wires, three screws, and of course we have our instructions. Now before I get up there, I'm going to check my multimeter and make sure it's working properly. So I'm going to turn this to 200 in the VAC, volts AC, not DC, AC for the house. Turn it to 200. I have a extension cord that I know it is live. I'm going to put the ground in the bottom prong. And the live wire should be the small opening. So that there's, hopefully, I can't even see it, it's so bright. So I'll put that in there and put that there. It is live. I have a hundred and twenty point, uh, about three volts. So I know that's live. This is working. With the light removed and everything, I measured where I want it to go. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut me a five by seven piece of wood. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use my exterior paint for house, paint this, then I'm going to mount it up there. Then I'm going to drill a hole straight through this, through the siding, reroute that wire through this side, and this is where I'm going to mount the light fixture. a little windy I apologize for that but I had to change it I was actually I, I somehow got in the wrong hole it was over so I had to pull it all off recock it put it back on I put put an additional screw on each corner to hold it there got those two screws in unfortunately with the fixture up there you cannot get a impact gun on it so I have a wrench I'm just going to do it by hand to take this apart, there are two screws in the bottom here. Loosen those up, this will twist and come off. Turns. 
now come off. This plate is held on by two 10 millimeter screws that comes off. So now when I mount this to the bracket up there, I can access the wires, wire it up, put this all back together and we're done. Now to test this, the sensor is at the top of that. I'm going to put my hand over and cover it and hopefully it'll light up. So we'll come back tonight and we'll just see how bright it is out here. 8 o'clock, it's still not dark. But you see the lights already kicked on because underneath the eave here it's much darker so it's not catching the light from the sun yet but we'll wait till it gets completely dark out As you can see it's already on actually a nice bright light wait for that to get dark now that is bright you see it's completely dark now and that lights the whole side of the shop and it is good 70 feet plus width wise and probably 40 feet or more out you see that is a nice big area right there and then that's lit very nice that is nice very bright and you see it lights up quite a bit of the area on the side of my shop. I appreciate you taking the time to view. This was actually a very easy install. Um, depending on where you're going to mount yours, you may have to do some modifications as I did because I didn't want to sit over here. And actually, if you have a square outlet, this will not cover it properly. You really need to mount it somewhere else. As I did move it and have where the three holes, where the triangle is, have a hole in the middle for the wire. And you can behind that maybe have a small round box. But it worked out. I don't have to have that up there. It's just on top of my shop. I was fine with just bringing the wire around and putting it in through the siding of the shop. Um, nice lit area at night. Can't beat it. Cheap maintenance. Longevity. 
I do. I like LEDs. I'm sorry. I really like them. Subscribe or follow me on Twitter. Do both. If you do subscribe, I guess you have hit the bell or something so you're notified when the videos come out. Or I just suggest follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Don't miss out. Uh, there's things changing. Uh, I think that's it. Anyway, be blessed. Get out there. Take back your shack. Clean a spot. Build something. Do something. Just get out there and spend some time. Like I always say, build it for a friend. Always build it for a family. Most importantly, build it for your sanity. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next video. Subscribe. Don't miss out. You might miss something. I got something cool coming up. Stay informed.